Okay. Hi. Here I'm trying to do a demo, a full cycle demo of selling one article with 100% uh, discount and return it as per our uh, discussion in different uh, communication today. So let's let me sell one article uh, in in the in, in the consideration that we are using zero zero sorry, nine nine zero five zero one one. Let's see. Okay, this article. This article we are selling in full value. For example, in size seventy. And then we are going to sell another article three three one two eight two six. This is an example. Okay, don't consider this article or anything. It's just an example, so it can be anything. This is running from my. A local server the demo server so you don't need to worry about this uh, promotion b1g1 is 100% discount so you see the price is zero so I sell it this guy got full price this guy got zero price okay then let me com complete these cells The sales is done. Okay. So when the sales is done, now we are going to return that article. You remember we have sold two pairs, where uh, one was in full value, the other one was in 100% uh, discount. So now I am changing the 100% discount from size 90 to something else, for example. So I put, I put the article 3312826, then I put minus 1, and size 100, I believe. 100, if it's not 100, it was 98, don't remember. Okay, I put the invoice number and see if there is an invoice number. Okay, search for invoice. Sorry, the size did not match. That means I forgot the size. Let me see the size that I was I sold. It was three three one two eight two six. The size was size was S two. S two is which is size nine. Yeah, here we can see the size. Yes, okay. Good. Here's my sales screen. Okay. It was it should be ninety. Then I go. You see this one comes. I put the invoice number. System verifies the invoice. Tells me okay. Here the trick is will not use the default not use the discounted we must use the retail price reason we are going to take it back with the full price and we are going to uh, give it back again with the full price so that we don't need to deploy any discount at the time of selling it means my inventory with 699 will come in and with 699 it will come out eventually it will be zero impact in the total sales column so I better tell the whatever it is, I don't know, whatever it is, I don't know, I put the reason, then I save it. So I sell it in this way. It means I'm returning it with full value. And now when I'm selling, it is one, two, eight, two, six, with a different size, maybe a hundred. This time I'm punching in the full price. I'm not using any promotion. If I do like that, the total impact is zero. You see? Should it up? A paper to this coupon. So here you see the transaction value is zero. And this is only for return. It's not for normal selling. If you're selling, 
if you have any plan to sell, you could continue. Anyway, this is how we are planning to do it. This is how we have done it, we have designed. Please follow this procedure. When there is discounted article coming back and uh, you want to sell, uh, you want to give same article or similar article, for this case of 100%, you cannot give another article with a different price. That article should have exactly the same price. So I suggest it should be the sizes in most of the cases or the quality of the product. Then you can return it with uh, full value and sell it with full value. Then all the reports will be proper. Thank you very much.